Hello ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Astra, the daily current affairs. This is Dhanunjay bringing you uh, what are the important things in the Hindu newspaper of 2nd August 2023. So let's start with the current affairs of today. So in the front page, so a bridge but that was under construction, a girder belonging to it. Girder means this one, a beam. Launcher falls in Thane. Than, so this is uh, regarding to some disasters, public disasters or something like uh, human-made disasters. You can write it. Manipur status report on FIR shows that there is no law and order in the state. Supreme Court clearly said that there is clear failure of constitutional machinery, absolute breakdown of constitutional machinery in the Supreme Court in the Manipur. As a result, the Supreme Court said that. Uh, there has to be some concrete steps. Now we all know that if there is a constitutional machinery failure in the state under Article 356, the state, the president can impose president rule. So more or less, this is the thing that is in waiting. Uh, the government has to act, and they have to take moral responsibility in this direction after the Supreme Court's verdict. So this is the thing on the editorial page. Editorial is also concerned on this. Imam killed in an attack on Buddha mosque. Victims of firing in train was from Hyderabad. Recently, we know that there was firing that has happened uh, in the train. Chetan Singh, uh, the RPO officer, railway protection officer, has shot three passengers along with his senior officer. Uh, so, four members were killed by that guy. So, in that context, that is what the thing is. So, <coughs> the dangers of in the digital protection data bill what exactly is digital data protection bill we all know that government of india in this monsoon session is going to introduce digital personal data protection bill which gives uh, uh, a legislative backup in india for the data protection so far we do not have any data, uh, law on protecting the digital data as a result based on sm sri krishna committee draft report government of india is enacting an uh, law regarding to digital person data protection bill so recently they have released what is the uh, uh, outline of the bill in this context this authors are writing what is the dangers in this digital data protection bill though data protection bill is necessary but still it has some uh, drawbacks so this article speaks about it we will go into in depth about that bus right to equality the wheels of change in karnataka a very good article has come now this is absolutely one good thing the author speaks about how uh, making uh, public spaces such as public buses free uh, or making it more compatible or viable for women passengers changes the lives of the people so what karnataka government did in the recent elections karnataka government promised that there will be free uh, transportation for women in karnataka as far as public transportation in karnataka is considered in that context they have written bus right to equality the wheels of change so what is the impact that it has really created so a very good article that you can read substantially uh, this is how the policy can be made so what is the impact that it is going to create on common man's life if you are focusing on these type of things this was written so you can have a look at it so please read it next supreme court indictment after the supreme court's remarks on the manipur the bjp bus replaced the chief minister more or less uh, it should be understood that is what i am saying uh, when there is a failure of constitutional machinery absolutely it is the government or central government responsibility to impose president rule in the state core comfort now this is regarding to the recent uh, uh, core manufacturing data output core manufacturing data output in the last one uh, last month has increased substantially as a result there was some comfort in this uh, scenario what is important is it is very important just to know what are the core industries that is most important for your UPSC. Apart from that, nothing is more important, right? So what are the core industries guys? Oil refineries, coal, steel, crude oil, natural gas, cement, fertilizers, fertilizers. oil refineries, coal, steel, electricity. So these are the eight coal industries that you have. So just remember them, that is important. Next, IIM bill is a bold move. Let's look at what is this IIM Indian Institute of Management bill. 
is a bold move. Why it is a bold move? We'll just go through this article and uh, we'll explain you why it is a bold move. Uh, climate finance adds another layer of inequality to climate change. So climate finance which is happening uh, is not coming at the required time. As a result, many countries in sub-Saharan Africa are in deep distress and are also among the nations that are most vulnerable to climate change. Now the developing nations are not fulfilling their promises and they are not, though they are promising, they are not delivering them in the correct time. As a result, this is going to add a huge damage to the environment altogether. In this context, this article was written. So if you want to read, read this article, please. And then you can read Bus Right to Equality. One good article has come. And then you can read both the things, Supreme Court indictment and Poor, com poor Comfort. Just remember, pop prelims. Next news. Mask attack in Millennium City leaves resident alarmed. So this is coming from Haryana. Recently, we have seen in Haryana, there has been some communal clashes. In this context, uh, they have written this. Panel submits report on subcategorization of the OBC after six years. So Justice G. Rohini committee, after six years, they have uh, given the report to the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment nearly six years after the union government obtained the task. So initially, it was only for one year. Now the task, this was extended beyond one year. So what it suggests, is suggests breaking the cash groups into broad categories within the dominant cash, getting the smallest share of 27% of reservation. Now, so we'll look at what is Justice uh, Justice Rohini Committee recommendations also, which is important for subcategorization of OBCs. Railway police force constable accused of killing four remanded. Patna High Court uphold continuity of the ongoing caste based survey. We all know this caste based survey is going to be started in Bihar. However, uh, the Bihar High Court or Patna High Court has said that they have to stop and they are extending this. Uh, 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 they are not resuming this. The, the reason is High Court has extended the stay order. Celebrate Raksha Bandhan with Muslims. Prime Minister tells NDA MPs. So in order to send a strong message that the government is not acting against the Muslims, Prime Minister Modi has clearly called his cabinet ministers and clearly called his ministers and MPs to celebrate the Raksha Bandhan Day with these people. Modi shares dias with Sharad Power, accepts Lokamanya Tilak Award. This is personal. No trust debate is going to be held from August 8th. Prime Minister is going to reply in August, on August 10th. So the coalition of opposition, India block leaders walk out of business advisory council meeting, alleging that the government is prioritizing legislative agenda over no confidence. They demanded an immediate debate. So this is unfortunate because even though the Prime Minister is coming and telling, or even though uh, the Lok Sabha speaker has accepted it, they should have the patience to listen. But that is not the thing which is happening. No rationally in disrupting house on same issue. Pakistan ready for talks if India will address serious issues, Chef Sharif. So what are the other bills that Lok Sabha is passing? Birth registration bill. Government introduces Delhi services bill in the Lok Sabha amid vociferous protests. So these are the two things, two bills which was introduced and Rajya Sabha passes the multi-state cooperative societies bill. So we will all look into that, what exactly are those bills. Now coming for Manariga, center woes almost 6,000 crores in Manariga wages to 18 states and union territories. Uh, so this is some uh, lacuna in MGNREGA holding of work. Most of the unclaimed bodies in Manipur are of infiltrators, says the government. Manipur violence, thumbul assault and missing girl cases among the batch of 11 FIRs. India grant to be used in education, healthcare in Sri Lanka estate areas. Myanmar junta shapes of six years from Suki's 33 year prison sentence. So this is all international news. Just look at where these countries are present. That's it. US presses Taliban on women freedom. Uh, Australia prime ministers transform against US and Assange's prosecution. Australia man charged with 1600 cases of child abuse. Now coming to the business page, a very good news is coming from GST. GST revenues registered three month high in July. So we have seen recently that uh, GST is performing decently well and uh, much above than uh, the pre GST regime uh, areas. India's gross revenue from the GST hit a three month high to 1.65 lakh crores. However, the growth has slowed out. Uh, from July that is completely fine but more or less and on average GST is growing at 1.65 lakh crores or 1.60 lakh crores this is completely a good thing and uh, this can be used in answer writing number of IT returns this year has risen to 16% that is 6.77 crores 
RBI, 88% of the bank notes are uh, back to the bank. We all know that RBI has asked for withdrawal of 2,000 rupee notes and consequently 88% of the bank notes have been released or recovered. So, top 10 defaulters owe the banks 40,825 rupees. Chola investment. So, this is the only thing uh, where we will study about uh, uh, NPA accounts. These things. Demand for gold drops not importantly. But uh, in the text and context page, Ashes, I already said, Ashes 2023 will serve as a good advertisement for TESS. A very good uh, sportsmanship was displayed by both the countries, uh, that is Australia and England, as far as Ashes 2023 is uh, considered. And the England's uh, way of rising back in the tournament is completely, uh, 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 is to be completely uh, applauded. The reason is from 0 to 2, they have made it 2 to at one stage they were about to beat Australia with 3 2. So, obviously, that is the thing which has happened. So, a very good series has happened all the way. What does as per time being possibly carcinogenic mean? Not important. So, this science page uh, just they have added one page. Uh, no need to study for UPSC students. The Holocene climate anomalies. So, just look at what is this Holocene period. That is more than enough. But one important article, guys, what can amendment to Forest Conservation Act change? What is the Forest Conservation Amendment Bill? Did the states comply with Supreme Court's directive? And did the JPC flag any concerns with the bill? These things are discussed in this. I am going to make a definite video because this is extremely important in today's newspaper. Bhima Koregao and MAPA striking the balance between securities and rights. A very good article again. Recently, we have seen that uh, Supreme Court has granted bail for some activists who are arrested. Uh, under the act of UAPA due to the incidents relating to Bhima Koregao case. In this context, we should understand uh, whether rights can be compromised in the name of security and vice versa. In this context, a uh, very good article was written. So, if you are interested to read, yes, uh, I recommend you to read this article and then this article is must to, to read. Then uh, following this, in the editorial page, read the articles that I have already said to you. That is going to be working for today. Thanks for joining, guys. Have a great day. Uh, I'll come out with the short clippings very soon.